Hey guys, John Jim here. Uh, welcome to episode two of Superhero Spotlight. In this spotlight, we'll be um, talking about a villain um, that really doesn't have any superpowers, but is, in, is in a, a major villain in the DC universe, and that is Lex Luthor. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into a little backstory uh, with Luthor. Uh, Luthor, depending on which origin you read and where uh, you... Um, which era you're you're reading at, uh, because his origin story has been retconned several times. Um, Luthor is basically a scientist. He was a scientist, and um, he uh, invented, uh, depending on uh, on the retcon, um, invented uh, different things. Uh, all of them, though, inherently uh, something went wrong, and uh, Superman still. A young, a young man, uh, being called Superboy, Superboy at the time, uh, intervenes and saves the day. Uh, but thus he uh, somehow loses his, Lex Luthor loses his hair, and uh, blames Superman for his uh, uh, not only the, the the failure of his invention and destroying it, but uh, the loss of his hair, and this causes um, great jealousy and, and anger towards Superboy or Superman. And thus, throughout the years, uh, he develops his machines and because and um, becomes a wealthy businessman, and a de de basically develops his whole life uh, destroying uh, Superman. Um, L Luthor, oh man, what a great, uh, great villain! Uh, basically, the exact polar opposite of what Superman is. Superman is. You know the good Boy Scout, the the all American good guy, uh, does right and everything. Luthor is just the exact opposite. Uh, he'll double cross you at any time. Um, the ultimate bad guy, uh, incredibly greedy, um, does not care about anybody else. Um, just just an, an off, awesome supervillain. You know he he he. He epitomizes uh, just the cruel businessman so much. I mean, uh, the evil businessman. Um, one of the things uh, that I personally like about Luthor is that he's sort of the, the evil version of Batman. Uh, he doesn't have any superpowers, but he uses inventions, uh, gadgets, to um, make himself formidable foe, formidable foe. Um, and he also uses his intellect uh, he's incredibly smart uh, much like Batman and and you know he just he just makes makes it a bad day for for Superman every time uh, he gets in his way um, he's formed uh, groups uh, super supervillain groups from the the injustice gang injustice gang or um, the secret society, or whatever you want to call them, uh, there's been different um, incarnations of it. But uh, in any factor, um, the ultimate goal, even though you know other supervillains had their different priorities with those superheroes, the ultimate goal goal for that was to destroy Superman. Um, which, which is just ingenious when you think about it. I mean, uh, trying to gather all these talents together to perform one single act and still can't take out the guy. Um, leaves his desire, his passion for taking out Superman even that much greater. Um, there are several incarnations of Lex Luthor, including, um, you know, because he's been retconned so many, so, so many times that um, there's the Red Sun Superman where he was actually the good guy. Um, there is the uh, 52, uh, the, the different versions of the 52 universe, which I'll go in, won't go into because it's very confusing. Um, but the the one that that incarnation that, that interests me is that is the Red Sun uh, version because he 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 was basically the superhero in that one, and he fought for the good of mankind. And um, you know, it, it it just goes to show you that that you know, had he taken a different different path. Um, he could have been something incredible. He could have been really great. Uh, but the main one that we know 
took their other path and he was basically the bad guy um he's also uh, been in movies uh, all, all the superman movies there's been uh, different people that played him all of them played him very well um you know the, the animated series uh which just hits hits a home run every time that the the animated series superman um in that one and the, the, the justice league versions as well as the same guy um absolutely just nails it i mean he, they personify the e the evil cruel guy um that lex luther is he's such a calculating and you know just very methodical bad guy yeah it just it just brings a smile to my face I mean, when i think about it it's just very it's just awesome just thinking about it and he's been in a couple of video games uh most uh, more closely he's been he's going to be in the new DC Universe online game, which uh, is going to be pretty awesome. So make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And for the next supervillain spotlight, we took a look at one of the most powerful mutants in the entire Marvel Universe, uh, the most deadliest mutant in the Marvel Universe. That is Magneto. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned.